you probably know that your body is composed of billions of cells, all containing your very own unique DNA, right? Well, we have to rethink this definition. See, we now know that they are maternal cells, cells 100% from the mother, crossing the placenta during pregnancy, settling and multiplying within the fetus. What is even more surprising is that these maternal cells persist after birth over decades and probably all life. By that, I mean that you and me, right now, we have cells from our mothers in our bodies, in our hearts, in our livers, in our bone marrows. All right, you're thinking, but what are they doing? Well, this is exactly what we do not know and what I am trying to find out in my PhD. To understand what these maternal cells are doing, my strategy using a specially genetically modified mouse, is to deplete maternal cells in the newborn pus and observe the outcomes of this depletion. A major difficulty is that due to maternal cells' extremely low proportion among the pup cells, about 1 in 100,000, it is very strenuous to detect these maternal cells and then to prove I depleted them. To overcome this difficulty, I combined two existing methods. I identify differences in protein expressions and differences in DNA sequences between the mothers and the puff cells to make maternal cell detection more robust and consistent. As a next step, I am now depleting maternal cells in the newborn pups by injecting a toxin to which maternal cells only are sensitive. And we'll start comparing the pup's immune systems in presence or absence of maternal cells. Indeed, you can imagine the impact fully mature maternal immune cells can have on a still developing fetal immune system. You could picture these maternal cells as experienced senpai coming over to instruct the newcomers, the naive fetal immune cells, who did not encounter foreign cells or pathogens yet. These senpai maternal cells could be able to teach the baby cells what to react against or not to react against in particular to not react against the maternal cells themselves. This had application in transplantation, with less organ rejection when using a graft more similar to the maternal cells. On the other hand, what if these maternal cells unchecked went awry, towards the wrong lessons, or even launched an immune conflict within the baby? This is a running theory to explain some neonatal diseases, including the liver degenerative disease biliary atresia which is incurable yet. As such, understanding the roles of maternal cells hold great promises to the fields of transplantation and neonatal diseases. Mm-hmm.